Welcome to Electron Line. Again, let's use the trigonometric functions to find the analysis or to define the analysis of the area of a regular hexagon. Again, here we have from the last video, we have a regular hexagon. We were able to divide the regular hexagon into six equal triangles. Here we've drawn one of the triangles where the bottom here is equal to the side of the hexagon. Here we have the height of the triangle and here we have R, the two legs of the triangle. We also were able to define the angle at the tip of the triangle here that was equal to alpha and alpha was defined to be equal to 60 degrees. If alpha is equal to 60 degrees and we know that these two sides are equal, that means all three angles had to be equal to 60 degrees. We're actually dealing here with an equilateral triangle. So each of the six triangles of a hexagon happens to be an equilateral triangle. If we now take half the triangle in such a way that this angle now is 30 degrees, which is half of 60 degrees, we still have the height of the triangle here. We have S divided by 2 because we took half the base. We still have R. Now we have a right triangle. And whenever we have a right triangle, we can employ the trigonometric functions. So what we're going to do here is define a relationship between H and S and H uh, and S and R. We can do that the following way. We can define the tangent of 30 degrees to be, and of course here's the 30 degrees, we take the tangent of that angle by definition that is equal to the ratio of the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So the opposite side to the angle is S over 2. The adjacent side to the angle is equal to H. So that's equal to the ratio of S divided by 2 divided by H. Which means we can define H as being the ratio of S divided by 2 divided by the tangent of 30 degrees, which is equal to S divided by 2 divided by, and all we have to do now is grab a calculator and find the tangent of 30 degrees which is equal to 0 0.577, and we can throw uh, 3, 5. There we go. That gives us five decimal places, plenty of accuracy. Solving that for H in terms of S, we can then say that H is equal to S divided by 1.1573. One so that's the relationship between H and S in a triangle that's derived from taking a regular hexagon and dividing into six equal triangles. We can do the same for the relation between R and S. So there we're going to use the function the sine of the angle, so the sine of 30 degrees. Again, we take the angle here 30 degrees, and the definition of the sine is equal to the ratio of the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. In this case, the opposite side again will be S over 2, which is opposite to the angle, so we have S over 2, but the hypotenuse in this case is going to be R rather than the adjacent side H. So solving this for R, we can say that R is equal to S over 2 divided by the sine of 30 degrees, and some of you may already know that the sine of 30 degrees is equal to one half or 0 0.5. If you didn't know that, again, you grab your calculator, you go 30 degrees, you punch sine, and you say, ah, it's 0 0.5. So this is equal to S over 2 divided by 0 0.5, or this can be written as S divided by 1. But in other words, R is equal to S. That, of course, would not be difficult to realize if you had gone back and said, wait a minute, when we take a regular hexagon and divide it into six equal triangles, each of the triangle is a equilateral triangle, which means that S and R have to be equal, and that's what we just saw. So in this case, we can say that R is equal to S. And now we've realized that using the trigonometric functions that we can have a relationship between H and S and between R and S. And therefore, we can now define the area of a regular hexagon in terms of the area of each triangle, which is equal to one-half S times H, and since H is defined in terms of S, we can eliminate H and we can find the area of each of the triangles. Then the area of the entire hexagon is simply six times the area of each individual triangle. And that's how it's done.